Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got uh, Gunslinger Airship Suicidal. Who would have thought to be playing Airship today, you know? What a, what a surprise. Oh, my mother bought me um, some ginger beers yesterday, which was uh, very nice of her. She bought them uh, so I could make Moscow mules, which was uh, was very nice of her. But uh, you, you need you need lime juice to make a Moscow mule. You can't just put ginger beer and, and vodka together and then call it a mule. It, you, you gotta have that 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 kick of acidity in there as well to to kind of make it super yummy. Otherwise, I'd rather just have the ginger beer, honestly. Um. But, uh, yeah, I got, I got a, a plain ginger beer and then a raspberry ginger beer. I was very grateful for that. I had both of them yesterday. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Still got the bottle here, which is what that uh, jingling sound is. I'll have, to, I'll have to take it to the recycling maybe later today or tomorrow, I guess. Look, it's just, you know, you get a couple of bottles on your desk. It's not the end of the world, right? It's not the end of the world. I do like ginger beer, though. It's, uh, you know, I don't like beer. I've, I've tried a billion different types of beers, you know. And, uh, they just, for me, it just doesn't do it. They just don't do it. Can't, uh, can't enjoy it. Tastes, you know, people call beer piss water. And, uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm of that camp. I think I'm of that camp. I think it just tastes terrible, really. For the most part, I mean ginger beer is fine. I mean I'm sure there are other types of beers as well. If, there, if there's ginger beer, there's there's probably you know other beers that I haven't tried that might be good. But I've I've tried a lot of beers. You know the, the classical uh, you know beers like uh, ales and like pale ale or whatever. I've uh, lager. You know it's just, it's just for me it's just and the thing is they all taste the same. You know. Like I'll I'll uh, I'll be out at a restaurant or something, and and somebody will be like, oh, you should try the you know the the Granville Island Pale Ale here. You'll love it. And I'm like, all right, sure, I'll try it. And then uh, I try it, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it tastes exactly the same as every other non-ginger beer I've ever had. They taste identical. I don't I don't understand how how people. Uh, are able to like tell the difference? You you could put them ne like right next to each other. I, I genuinely I couldn't tell the difference. I think it might be uh, something similar to like uh, what is it? Parsley or oregano or no? What's the? No, oh, stop! Don't install Firefox. I already have it installed. Stop installing Firefox. Stop installing Firefox, I beg of you. Um, soap. Spice. Oh my god. Um, no, this is just giving me soap. Uh, spice that tastes like soap. Cilantro. Right, yeah, I think it might be like cilantro, where some people just have... A gene that just makes it taste like piss. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's a very divisive thing, I find, beer. Where a lot of people just really like it, and they're able to, to tell the differences between different types of beers, and, you know, they're able to enjoy it. And then other people are just like, yeah, no, all beer just tastes like actual urine. Like, you're, it, it, it tastes like you're actually just, you know, sitting me down and peeing in my mouth. And, uh... You know, that's that's not necessarily for dinner time, okay? That's, that's a different kind of experience. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, uh, it's, for me, it's not very good, but I like the ginger beers. The ginger beers are, uh, are delightful. Every now and then, my, uh, my parents will want to try uh, a bit of ginger beer. And almost every time, they they uh, they make the same complaint that it tastes like too much ginger, <laughs> which is which is always funny. 
It's always funny. They try and like, it's so gingery. Like, yeah, it's ginger beer. It's literally brewed from ginger. It's, it's gonna taste like ginger, of course. That's the good part. <laughs> like, that's the, that's the part that tastes good. That's what makes it so delightful. But, uh, yeah, these crabs. Crabbies. Crabbies ginger beer. I can, I can vouch for it. If you're of legal age and uh, you're, you're fond of uh, a little a little alcohol every now and then, I uh, I have nothing but praise for for Krabby's ginger beer. I don't know about the company themselves; they probably are like a bunch of jerks, but uh, they make good beer. They make really good beer. Highly recommend. I've tried other ginger beers as well. They don't uh, they don't quite compare. It's just something special. About that, Krabby's ginger beer. Get it now for only no. Um, yeah, I like it. My mom got me some yesterday. I'm all out now though, and it makes me want more. Is this alcoholism, perhaps. The main, the main reason why I don't drink uh, too much ginger beer, honestly, is not because of. Um, I was trying to see if there's a nutritional facts on it. It's not because of the alcohol in it. I, there's, there isn't much alcohol in ginger beers. They're like, yeah, four percent alcohol per volume, or by volume, um, which isn't that much. I, I could drink like as, as much beer as I want, and I'm not gonna get drunk. Tipsy, perhaps, but I'm not gonna get drunk. I could get drunk off a of ginger beer. I just have to drink more than I want. <laughs> you know what I mean, like. I don't have to. I don't have to worry about uh, getting drunk off. But getting, you know, a little bit too tipsy, you know, unsafe to to drive or whatever. Perhaps yes, but uh, never, never drunk. You know, I'm never. I'm never concerned about like alcohol poisoning or with it or something like that, right? Like it's fine. Um. But honestly, like what I'm mostly worried about is just the uh, the amount of calories in it. It's a lot of a lot of sugar in beer, <laughs> and any kind of alcohol. It's kind of the way that it goes, right? And, uh, Jesus. As much as it tastes good, you gotta, you gotta kind of watch that, right? A lot of people, I think, don't realize that. That, uh, that beer makes you gain weight. You know? I think, I think a lot of people, uh, well, I think that a lot of people realize the beer, that, uh, that drinking can cause you to lose, to, to gain weight. Um, but I think that a lot of people miss the, the point. And I feel like a lot of people think that uh, that drinking causes you to eat more, but the reality is, is that just drinking, you're you're just drinking the calories. You don't even, even if you're not eating more, and you probably are because you're drunk. But like it's it's hitting you from both sides, you know. I'm not pulling the lever lever. I think I think a lot of people underestimate that because it's uh, I don't know, it's like 300 or 400 calories per bottle. Like that's like breakfast, you know. It's not insignificant. Last night we had a roast beef for dinner. I talked about it a couple of episodes ago. And uh, I was looking forward to mashed potatoes possibly being present. And there were mashed potatoes. I was quite excited. But uh, the part that, that really uh, got me chuckling about it was... My mother pointed out one of the two roasts. Because there's two roasts in there. They were both like super well done like not a not a hint of red in either of them they were they were both very well done and uh, you know that's that's the way that they like it you know they enjoyed it they're the ones that matter I'm not the one that matters in uh, in that case they're the ones that, that's cooking it and you know buying it and enjoying it so that's that's what matters right if I don't like it that's my problem and uh, if I cook something they don't like then that's their problem you know it works both ways but um, yeah, but uh, anyway, my uh, my mother ends up pointing out one of the roasts, one of the one of the two roasts, and she's like, "You want to eat from this one? This one's a, you know, it's a little bit more raw." And I'm like, "They're both, they're both like, by my by my eye, they're both burnt." So uh, I didn't I didn't end up eating any of the roast beef. It wasn't good, you know. I I had I had, a, I had like a piece because my mother was like, "At least try it. It's good." I tried a piece. It was not good. <laughs> Like, it's just not. Um, 
But again, I'm not the person who has to enjoy it. It's not. It's not. I'm not mad that it was bad. <laughs> I just I didn't like it. and I wasn't expecting to. Um, but there was mashed potatoes, some gravy. It was nice uh, corn in the cob. It was quite good. Just not the. Uh, just not the roast beef. It was not. It wasn't a good cut of beef anyway. My uh, my family, when it comes to, to any kind of like meats, I, I don't. I, I think their values when it comes to the meats are, are pretty far off. It's a lot of, uh, you know, lean meats and stuff. Like, eh, it's just not very good, you know? And it's not like, you know, some kind of higher than thou kind of stance that I take on it, right? Like, the reality is, is that it, like, I'm just not a huge fan of meat to begin with. You know? So, so when you, like, don't cook it right, by, by my book, anyway, it's just, I'd rather just, I don't know, not, like, eat something else. Like, 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 a good steak is really, really good. But a bad steak, like, you put a bad steak and a cucumber next to each other, I'm taking the cucumber 100% of the time. It's, it just tastes better. Like, it, 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 it just does, you know? Um... So it's not, I don't know, I just I don't really care for it to begin with, and then it's like not done perfectly by my book, which makes it even worse, and then I'm like, yeah, you know what, it's whatever. <laughs> it's not, it's not for me. But it was, uh, it was, I got a good chuckle out of it when my mother was trying to point out the one that was, uh, better for me, and I'm like, nah, <laughs> they're, they're both, <laughs> they're both extremely well done. I, I knew the moment you pulled them out at 160, and then, well, didn't even pull them out, just left them in the... Thing on keep warm for a few hours like yeah it's it's their beyond repair apparently we're gonna have some some beef dips or something like that so i'll have to come up with my own dinners which i prefer doing anyway and i, I want to be moving towards uh managing my own food primarily anyway so it's not that big a deal but i will have to find someone else out to do when they have the beef dip because i'm not gonna eat it it's a waste of the beef if I eat it. <laughs> it's the, they, they like it. I don't. Why, why would I eat it, you know? They can eat it. They're the ones that like it. They get to enjoy it. I'm not going to waste it by, by eating it when I could eat something else. Just, uh, it's just rude. But it's all good. It's all good. Tonight we had uh, we had pork chops, same kind of thing. Very dry, very overcooked. I mean, the problem is, is uh, I, I, they have um, this weird obsession with like barbecuing things. You don't want to barbecue meat. Is is really the moral of the story here? Because when you when you barbecue meat, all the fat drips into the uh, into the grill. Yeah, you have to have a really good piece of meat if you want to barbecue it. Like a really good piece of meat if you want to barbecue, because otherwise all the fat drips into the grill, and you end up uh, with this with this just really dried out, like crunchy almost thing, you know. And it's it's not it's not very good. But uh, you know I don't know I I, I I guess they just like dry meat. I've I've, I've heard my mother on uh, on more than one occasion be like, oh it's nice and dry, <laughs> like ooh. That's blasphemy, lady. But you know, it's, 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 that's the way they like it. You, know, you can't be disrespectful about how uh, how people like their food. So there's no way. There's no wrong way to eat it. There's a wrong way for it to be for me to enjoy it, but that doesn't mean that I I'm eating it the right way. You know. Medium rare is the correct way, though. But we'll we'll you know. No no point getting worked up over it. You know. I don't want to use any ladder. Also, I don't think there is a ladder I can use. Yeah, we had the, uh, the pork chop today with uh, some barbecued corn. Barbecued corn is delightful, though. Okay? Like, you, you can put almost anything else on a barbecue. Just not meats. Okay? You can't put meats on the barbecue because you want to make sure that you keep the meat, the, the fat from the meat that gets rendered off. You want to keep that in the pan and, like, baste it and stuff, you know? Or make a sauce out of it or something. 
right? When when you put it on the grill, you're just you're just losing all that. And that's that's flavor, that's texture, that's that's all the important stuff that's in the meat. <laughs> that's that's the stuff that makes it taste good. You're just like burning it off. It's not uh, it's not good. But uh, you know something that isn't so fatty, or uh, something where the fat isn't necessarily crucial to the uh, to the uh, to the product, like corn, pineapple, watermelon. Um, you know, breads even, biscuits, lots, lots of stuff you can cook at the barbecue. Just not meat. Just not meat. Or if you're gonna cook meat, it's gotta be like a good piece of meat. You know, it's gotta be a nice fatty piece of meat. Cause you're gonna be burning off a lot of that fat. You wanna make sure there's still fat left in it. Otherwise, it's uh, it's gonna be gross. At least in my opinion. That's my stance on the matter, and I'm sticking to it. My father's been working in the uh, in his workshop lately, which has been super inconvenient for me because my uh, my bedroom is directly next to the uh, to his workshop. So when he's like doing something, he's got the compressor on or whatever. It's just like shaking my whole body. <laughs> so annoying, especially because like. He does it in the morning, particularly. Or in particular, he does it in the morning, you know? So it's like 10 a.m., 11 a.m. or something. Like just before or just after I'm getting up and I'm still like kind of relaxing in bed. You know? It's terrible. Oh, it's so annoying. I just want to like run over there and like yell at him and be like, just shut up! But, you know. I can't really do that. I'd be in the wrong. I want to do it, though. Don't get me wrong. I want to do it, but uh, I recognize that it would be a, uh, a selfish thing to do. Because I get, to, I get to be home on the weekdays. I get to be home by myself on the weekdays, have the time off. The only time they're home is on the weekends. I, I don't get to, to try and control the weekends, too, right? As much as I would love to. It's more, it's more just... Uh, motivation for me to really want to <laughs> move out and get my own place it's not I'm not really I don't really get to be mad at them you know I'm mad mad at mad at the circumstances I'm upset at the, uh, the circumstances not so much him but it is uh, it is annoying oh it's so annoying so if you guys haven't been woken up by like a compressor like Five feet away from your head, well, maybe not, like, I don't know, ten feet, maybe fifteen feet away from your head through a thin wall. You guys have never been woken up by like that, by uh, by one of those. Trust me, you don't want to be. <laughs> it's not pleasant. It's not pleasant at all. You don't get to go back to sleep. You know, you don't get to fall back asleep because that's loud and shaking you. I don't know if it's the because uh... my bedroom used to be a part of the garage, and then the people who had the house before me, I or before us, I believe. Uh... Like turned it into a spare room and then we turned it into a bedroom. So I'm not sure if it's just uh, like the compressor naturally vibrating it that much, or if uh, if it's a fact that uh, if, it's, if if you know the fact that uh, it's it's originally a part of the garage, there isn't as much of a separation between it as as there was intended to be or whatever. I don't really know, but man, it's terrible. It's terrible. And again, I don't really get to do anything about it, you know? I don't really get to, I don't even get to complain, really, right? I mean, I don't get to complain so much about it. Because, uh, you know, they're, they're gonna feel bad, and I don't want them to feel bad about, uh, enjoying their day off. I just, I just suffer in silence. <laughs> I mean, I complain to my friends, and I complain to you. My goodness! I, com I complain to my friends, I complain to you guys. But, uh... You know, people are like, hey, you know, how, good morning, how are you? I'm like, well, I can't really say I'm doing terribly because I was awoken by the compressor of hell. That's, that's a little bit, perhaps, disrespectful, rude, impolite. I don't really get to, I don't really get to do that. Much as I want to sometimes. <laughs> there, there are, there are some days where I will, uh, I will, I will tell them to, to be quiet. Not often. 
Just when I'm having a uh, particularly bad day or a particularly bad night's sleep, and I'm like, I need my sleep, okay? Like, it's it's your day off, but I'm sleeping, damn it. <laughs> it doesn't happen often. It doesn't happen often. It's got to be like a really bad day, you know? Because, again, it's like Saturday and Sunday, the only days that they get to do anything. If I interrupt it, it just, it just feels uh, selfish. I get, I get seven days, well, I get five days a week, so I don't get to do anything on Saturdays and Sundays. I kind of have to, to work my schedule around them. But, uh, you know, I get Monday to Friday. I can at least give up Saturday and Sunday, right? You know, not even all Saturdays and Sundays, just some of them. So oftentimes they have they have stuff to do on, uh, on those days anyway, you know? Having to go, you know, they got lots of responsibilities as, uh, as functioning members of society. Groceries and bills and... Perhaps odd jobs, family, you know, whatever, right? Like you got you got stuff to do. You got to take the garbage to the dump or whatever. If you've uh, done some spring cleaning lately or something, you know, it's not like every weekend, but man, when it, when 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 those weekends do come, it's a uh, it's a strong reminder that I really want to move out, and it's kind of a strong reminder that like I'm not really capable of it, which is uh, sad at times. Both of them are over there. Come on, dude. Really? You just missed all of them? Who's this Grake? I, I, I thought he was going to get jumped or bounced off there. That would have been sick, dude. Yeah, it's, that's, been my, uh, that's been my weekend. The weekend of... Uh, Noise, vibrations. I had pizza yesterday. I had pizza for lunch. My, uh, I was sitting upstairs playing uh, chess on my uh, my chessboard with my mother, and uh, my sister was like, "Hey, you should order lunch." So I was like, "All right, I'll order lunch." If you want sushi or, uh, or pizza? We ended up going with pizza, but my mother was astounded by that. Like how how did you how did you make that happen? How'd you get how'd you get Charlotte to order lunch? Like I don't know. I just asked. She she can only say yes or no. It's not like anything bad can happen. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's true. I'll usually order lunch if uh, if it's around lunchtime and somebody asks. And it's not because you know it's not to say that if you ask for lunch every day, I'm gonna order lunch every day. It's just that people don't usually ask. You know. People don't normally ask to, to order lunch, and if somebody is, then I'm like, you know what, that's a good opportunity to maybe uh, have a little treat or something, you know? So I all usually say yes. Now that my mother's learned that that's a thing, though, it might, it might start happening a little bit more often. In which case, we'll have to say no more often. I don't know. Sometimes it's nice to have pizza, so I ordered some pizza uh, yesterday. There's this uh, pizza place near me that like sells by the slice, which is super convenient. Cause you don't have to buy like you know three pizzas, so everybody gets the the you know two slices of the pizza that they want. Then you have a whole bunch of leftover pizza. You know, like yeah, it's more expensive by the slice, but I only spent like twenty dollars for three people's lunch. It's not or four people's lunch rather. It's not that bad, you know. Five bucks a, a person, basically, including delivery and tip. Like, I can I can accept that. It's a little bit more expensive than if I, we were to have done something else. But you know, it was uh, we definitely would have got a better deal if we would have ordered like pizzas. But then we would have had a bunch of pizza, and it's like yeah, but it's more like cheaper. But like the reality is, is that I don't need to buy the pizza. You know, <laughs> I don't really need it. So yeah, it's cheaper, but. I'm not saving money, I'm just spending money that would have been less than if I were to have, like, spent more money, you know? I'm not making sense. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.